We're back at this 2023 Toyota RAV4. So I'm just setting this up. Normally you would have this on a bench and all set up on your own little cart or a bigger cart, however you want it. If you're in a shop, if you're mobile, you do it whatever way you want. But the only thing I'm showing you here is a single hose setup. Unfortunately, my micron gauges are in use right now. And I have two Navax and three AccuTools and I have a JB and some other off-brand name. So we're gonna use this as a dedicated micron gauge. And that's if you got the mini kit. So this was the mini kit. This is the blue hose kit where you just get the true blue AccuTools hose. You only get, you get one of these hoses because that's all you would need if you're gonna use the one hose method. So we just have a vacuum pump and we got the VPX7. This is the 10 CFM and this is lighter than the 8 CFM or the 6 CFM because this has an aluminum chassis. So this one is actually lighter to carry around than the smaller vacuum pumps. And so this gives you the instructions on how to set this up. Now, normally right here, you would have your vacuum gauge sitting right here. Your micron gauge would be sitting right off this fitting right here. This is your charge port fitting. And they actually give you the instructions. Everybody always, how do you set up the one hose system? Well, they give you the instructions when you purchase the one hose kit. It comes with all the fittings and the instructions that you need to perform the one hose method. This is my preferred vacuum uh, micron meter but they have the more inexpensive one that's not as expensive. It has the exact same quality sensor in it, but without all the bells and whistles of doing data logging. Like right here, I'm doing data logging of the vacuum that I'm taking. And let's get over here. Here's the, for hooking up your different fittings. Like you see right here, I have the hose connected to this adapter fitting with a clamp on it. So there's the hose. There's the adapter fitting for whatever size fitting you're gonna use. And here's some close-ups of what it looks like. There you go. So there's two types, styles of fittings. There's the big, uh, heavy aluminum one, and then there's the lighter one. I have the lightweight one on there right now. Here's the different fittings you're using. I'm using the slime, I'm not using the core depressor one because I let that's being used on another job site right now. So I've just used another uh, core removal tool in place of this one right here. And it shows the setup. This is how it'd be set up. So this is one of the methods it would be set up. I have an isolator core off here because when I'm gonna pump into refrigerant, I want to turn off this one right here because I do not want refrigerant going up into my micron gauge as pictured right there. And then they tell you about reading the microns and uh, doing a vacuum decay test. They give you all the steps on how to successfully perform this. There's no guesswork. And uh, Jim Bergman has some really good videos out over at True Tech Tools on how to use this equipment, how to use the vacuum pump, how to use the micron gauge. It's all in a video format to show you exactly how to perform all these things. You don't have to see me how to do it. It's not, it's not science, you know, it's not rocket science. So I'm getting ready to fill this up right now on this 2023. Rad 4, it takes YF refrigerant, 550 grams. So this has to stay on the vacuum pump because I just got this hooked up a little while ago, uh, roughly eight minutes ago or so, where you can see we're into minute six, minute seven, and I'm down to 920 microns. Now, the other difference you'll see is that I am pulling vacuum from the low side only, but I have my micron gauge hooked up on the high side. If you follow this line around, it's going up here to the micron gauge and it's reading from the high side. You don't pull vacuum from here and read your microns here because if I read my microns right here, it'd probably be two or 300 microns right here. But the true vacuum in the whole entire system is all the way up the other side on the high side. This is your true vacuum and it's only true once you turn it off. So for example, let's turn off the vacuum. Let's, let's isolate it. So I'm gonna back out this fitting 
and we're going to, uh, there we go. So the fitting is backed out now. Now there's no more vacuum from the vacuum pump, but I left the line, as you can see, the ball valve, the ball valve, ball valve is still open. This is liquid refrigerant in here, and this ball valve is off because right here is sitting liquid refrigerant. Right here, we're connected to the micron gauge that's Bluetooth to my, now you see it went up from 200, uh, from 914 to 922, 21. It's stabilizing right now between the two sides. So that's the micron reading of my whole system right now without vacuum being applied. When I apply the vacuum back on, it'll drop to 914 and it'll keep going down steadily. So beyond in the next 45 minutes, an hour, it all depends on how much moisture is in the system. If it was clean, dry, and hot, and you're in the Arizona desert and it's 110 degrees, and the system wasn't left open to air, you might get down to three or 400 microns in 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But if you're in a hot, wet, humid place or a cold, humid place, and like this case, the system might have been left open for several days, exposed to moisture, the POE oil, because this is electric oil for electric compressors, this is dielectric oil, it's very hydroscopic. It loves to get moisture in it. So they contaminated it a little bit and I probably won't be able to get it below 400 microns because the system is so contaminated with oil, uh, with moisture. And uh, so I'll leave this on here, let it go, and then I'll come back and charge it up later. I'm gonna go have lunch while this thing sits on the vacuum pump and I'll see where I am. And if I have time, I'll do a follow-up video of after. Uh, we'll see if I have time. All right, I'll see you guys. Remember, this is the hose kit. The hose kit comes with the one hose, the adapter fittings, and everything. You go over to True Tech Tools and see what they have on their website, and you can see the different offerings. You can get one hose, two hose, three hose, this is a three in this picture. Is another kit I have, which is a three hose setup. I have that kit too. So I have four hoses in total. I have several micron gauges, several vacuum pumps, several refrigerant gauges. I got several of everything. As you can see, I even have several different, uh, I have a few, I have like three different kits of uh, sensors. I have the Testo one too. All right guys, I'll see ya.